Hi, it's Martin Gibbons here, and we're going to be talking in this video about personality tests and what you need to know about your personality test. So let me take you through this uh, very quickly and see if we can fill you in with some gaps. Now, personality profiling is in demand, we know this, yet often the people within the organisation seek to use different profiling systems and wrongly refer to it as a personality test. So what is it that an organisation are looking for or seeking when they apply these tools? Well, personality profiles can be an effective way of assessing whether an applicant's personality will fit with the other members within a team or an organisation. Now, often organisations will bring in a consultant somebody like me probably, to help them understand the personality type that is most suited to their work environment. And that's very important. When this sort of assessment is being made, they're not asking the applicant to set a personality test, even though they may refer to it as such. A test is something that can be failed, and even if the applicant does not have the personality that is thought best fit for the role on offer, and do not meet the organisation's requirements, they still have not failed a personality test. Assessment is what happens when applicants complete personality profiles. Testing can be claimed for aptitude questionnaires. Applicants can pass or fail an aptitude test on numbers, problem solving or literacy for example. In all situations where applicants are asked to complete a questionnaire, it is important to set the scene correctly. By referring to it as a test, this immediately prejudices the scene for the applicant. When administered by an inexperienced employer, candidates often second-guess what it is the job that they apply for would require, and this gives a poor result for everyone. The company loses out because the candidate isn't keeping it real, and the individual is in danger of landing a job they actually wouldn't like or enjoy in the first place. Built into most personality profiling systems are questions where the aim is to identify if the person completing the questionnaire is being consistent. When applicants see these questionnaires as a personality test, the responses are rarely consistent. The applicant is now beginning to think that there is a correct answer to the question expected by this organisation and the resulting profile could be very inaccurate in describing the natural persona of this particular applicant. If the experiences of both the applicant and the candidate and the employers are to be positive, the sooner people stop referring to personality profiling as personality test, the better. Part of the scene setting is to help relax the candidate and explain that there is no right or wrong answer. They should, in all cases, answer spontaneously. Usually the first thought they have will produce the most accurate result. If their personality is correct for the organisation, chances are that both will have a good experience. If they get a job where their personality is not a good fit, chances are they will never be truly happy in this particular job. Okay, I'm Marta Gibbons. Thanks very much for watching. You can catch more about this on peoplemaps.com.